What is up everyone? Welcome to Tech Savvy Buyer. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Rawcat Vulcan 121 AMO Pro keyboard. Now I know that is a mouthful to say and believe me I had to practice that a few times before saying it to you guys. So it is what it is but basically this keyboard is actually one of the nicest keyboards I've had to have an opportunity to review on this channel and I've looked at stuff from Corsair, from Logitech, from Gamdius, and now from Rocket or Rocat. So sorry Rocat if I'm pronouncing this name wrong. So what's cool about this keyboard? Why would you consider even buying this? And why am I going to be using this as my daily driver going forward? Let's find all of that out in today's video after a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by GVGmall.com. GVG Mall carries a wide variety of game currencies and gift cards that you could use to take your gaming to the next level. If you're looking for a fresh copy of Windows or Microsoft Office, then you can certainly find those on GVGmall.com as well. They are priced very competitively and offer legit copies of Microsoft software. You can pick up a copy of Windows 10 Pro for under 15 bucks. Visit gvgmall.com for more information and use code TSB to save during checkout. So this Vulcan keyboard by Rocket actually released today, which means that you guys are able to pick this up. I'll leave a link in the description below. And guys, just before we go ahead and get started, don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button down below. Now, this has some pretty breakthrough technology and includes some pretty cool features that are not really found in a whole other bunch of keyboards that you can get your hands on today. Now, it does come with a pretty steep price, but when you consider all that you're getting for that price, I think it really is worth the price tag. So this video, I'm going to be basically focusing on what are the good things about this keyboard and where I think the shortcomings may be, but that's based on my personal use. Um, and it may be different for you. So let's talk about the first revolutionary tech that's inside this, and that is the use of Titan switches. So if you guys understand anything about switches in a keyboard, essentially the switch acts like a little mechanical button that's inside your keyboard buttons. And once you press it, it's supposed to hit and give you that tactile response that you've actually pressed something. That's what you know as a mechanical switch keyboard. So tactical switches generally give you a much nicer feel when you're typing and it gives you that kind of click clack type feeling as well when you're using your keyboard. Now how this is different is that there's no actual physical button underneath the keyboard keys. So as you press it, essentially what's happening is that it's breaking a ray of light. So it's using optical technology to register your keystrokes, which is really cool if you think about it because it gives you that instantaneous reaction that your PC paired with the software that comes with this can pick up on and essentially give you much faster response rates than you would get from let's say a typical Corsair or Gamdius or even Logitech for that matter keyboard. So I think that's one thing worth really mentioning on how this keyboard outshines the competition. It's just the use of this technology. It's fantastic. Aside from having super cool switches in there, now they are using those mechanical brown switches just so you get a certain level of feel um, while you're using and the keyboards, but there's other things that are built into this keyboard that kind of make itself stand out from the competition. So aside from the actual optical switch that's engraved in there, they have their own RGB software that's has um, some intelligent features that you can use with your keyboard. So for example, you can actually emulate clicking sounds as you use your keyboard. Another thing that's pretty cool is that there is that AMO technology of RGB that's being illuminated in the keyboard. So for one, it actually lights up the keys as you stroke them, which is pretty cool. As you type, you'll see the specific areas that you type change their RGB color. And each individual key is lit with its own dedicated LED, which lets it give you a breadth of customization of RGB lighting to your liking. Now you can use this with the paired software from Rocket called Swarm, which is actually very intuitive and simple to use. Of all the different softwares I've used, a lot of them tend to have that clunky feeling and just an extra piece of software that you need to have on your desktop. Now that is kind of a fair thing to say that you do have to have another software to use the or take advantage fully of all the features of the lighting on the keyboard and even the headsets and other peripherals that Rocket basically sells. Um, I would say that if you're gonna build your, you know, your room or your gaming setup and you keep things more or less of the same brand, it makes your setup a lot more cleaner and easier when it comes to RGB lighting. So having to add an additional one does kind of take away from the overall user experience, although that's a minor con at best, and I won't even possibly list that as a con. It is just something to keep in mind. But I didn't mean to digress over there. Basically what I'm trying to say is that you can control all these different lighting schemes with that software, and it lets you adjust, like I said, those tactical noises that you'd like to hear, different types of RGB lighting you want, whether it's a solid color, rainbow effect, wave effect, or that 
cool AMO RGB illuminated intelligent lighting where if you touch a keypad or you know any one of the keys that it lights up underneath your hand. Now another cool thing about this is that the actual hand rest of it is something that gets attached magnetically. Now here's probably my biggest con with this keyboard. I actually like this, so don't get me wrong. I like the fact that this is magnetic and just clips right on. What I don't like about it is the magnet isn't super, super strong. So what that means is that if you move your desk around a bit, this tends to just come off super easy. And it's kind of a nuisance when you're shifting your keyboard around. Now, a lot of people may not be shifting their keyboards around, but in my case, as I move around on my desk when I'm either gaming or doing some editing, like for videos like this, I tend to move around a lot, basically. And so when I move my keyboard left or right, it's just a bit of a pain that this falls off every time that I try to do it. So not a huge caveat there. I mean, then again, most people may not even want to use a wrist rest or an arm rest in this case, but if you're one of those people that likes it, that's something to keep in mind that it does become a little bit of an annoying presence in there. Now, as far as the lighting goes on this, I told you there's a real large variety of different lighting that you can take advantage of with the keyboard. And it is arguably among one of the brightest keyboards that you can purchase today. Now, typically when you think of RGB lighting and brightness, the first brand that always comes to mind is Corsair because they've got their RGB on spot. And I'm happy to say that this is just as good, if not better than Corsair in the RGB lighting department for this keyboard. They get super bright and it looks just as clean, just as nice. Now, the only other con, aside from having the wrist rest or the arm rest that's magnetic and not stay put, the only other thing I personally had a, a little bit of an issue with this keyboard is that I felt like the keys were a little bit too high for my liking. Now again, I want to keep this as objective as possible, but I have to give a little bit of a subjective experience because I'm actually getting a chance to test this. So I want to share my experience with you guys. But when I'm typing on it, I like keys that are much more low profile. And that the only keyboard I can think of that had the best low profile keys for me personally was the Gambius one, which was fantastic. I actually felt like I could type a lot faster, although the noise that would come out of clicking those keys made me not want to use that keyboard ultimately. But I wish these keys were a little bit lower, but it's still not a deal breaker. I think there'll be some adjustments that you'll have to get used to as you transition over to a keyboard like this if you decide to pick it up. But once you get used to it, it's a fantastic experience. Now, I like that the keys themselves have a dome layout. And, you know, they mentioned that this is also to prevent a lot of dust and a lot of debris falling in under the switches as well. But also just the ergonomic feel of when your fingers rest on the keys, it feels nice, firm, and kind of like they are sitting where they belong. So if you guys can hear this, this is basically the amount of noise that comes from clicking this. So it's not so noisy. I've heard a lot more noisy keyboards, but generally I think the noise level on this is pretty good. That's why they give you that feature where you can actually emulate sounds coming from them. Now, typical fashion of a lot of these nicer branded keyboards is you get a volume rocker slash dial or you know thing or knob of some sort to control your volume. Now you can actually customize this knob to adjust the brightness of the keyboard or the volume of your computer. There's default settings for either one. Hopping in the software lets you figure out which one you want to use. You also have your typical hotkeys on top where you can just do a quick mute or a quick unmute. And then you've got a wealth of different function keys where you can you know, quickly hop over to your homepage or your website or play and press media as you see fit. Now, they also have game mode enabled on this, which essentially blocks off the use of accidentally touching the Windows key if you're going to be playing any first person shooters or basically any games with keyboards and mouse that tends to be a spot where a lot of people accidentally have touches. So you've got that in there as well. And then you've got some macro keys in here as well. There's a total of six different macro keys that you can use with this. And you can go ahead into the software and function them similar to how you see on some of those 200 and $250 plus keyboards that have that functionality. This keyboard has it too. And to go along with all of that, what I really liked is that they went with a brushed aluminum finish. There's really minimal amount of plastic being used. Now, overall, the construction is plastic. I won't lie to you guys, but the front of it has aircraft grade aluminum, which one prevents a lot of fingerprints and, you know, nasty stains or marks that you could get on there. And two, it just gives us really sleek uh, touch and feel and overall finish. So having that brushed aluminum finish can really add to your overall gaming setup. So overall, would I recommend a keyboard like this for you guys to go ahead and purchase for $200? Well, guys, I mean, honestly, it comes down to your preference. Of course, everyone has a budget. So if you don't feel like dropping $200 on a keyboard, maybe that's not something you want to do. You can pick up something way cheaper for a keyboard. However, if you consider the Titan switches that are inside this and the other nice technological advancements that Rocket has made with this keyboard, 
I think it's absolutely worth its price. And if I haven't stated earlier in this video, this is going to be my daily driver going forward. I wanna really use this keyboard often and move away from the Corsair K70 Platinum that I have right now and transition to this. I like the switches that much and I think it makes a big difference if you're going to be playing a lot of fast paced games like shooters, for example, or esports games to have something that keeps you competitive just because you can register your clicks and your or keystrokes a lot quicker. I like the lighting scheme in it, like I explained. I like the fact that it's very ergonomically designed. I like that they have a decent length braided cable that doesn't feel flimsy at all. Of course, you're paying $200 for this. So it's overall a very, very solid keyboard. So if you guys are interested in picking this up i will leave a link in the description below as i mentioned earlier and don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button while you're still here make sure you turn those notifications on so you guys are up to date when i'm putting new content out and obviously it helps youtube recognize my videos as you guys come to see them so all in all guys very solid keyboard thank you very much for sticking through to the end of this and i will see you all on my next one peace out